Morning all, it's uh, Friday, thank God. And I'm actually on a day off today, but uh, anyway, today's video is gonna be about life after a stent. Um, I was on Pinterest yesterday and I was reading this lady commenting about her husband who had a heart attack and he'd got a couple of stents and uh, the lady was quite distressed and worried about her husband coming home and would he be the same and uh, you know basically worried about his life expectancy. Now life after a stent uh, there's no real difference at all to be honest. Uh, I had one stent 13 years ago and I'm a very very lucky man in that uh, I haven't had had any other stents or anything like that. I'm just going to touch the wooden floor here, touch wood. Uh, I haven't had to have any other stents or anything like that. And, uh, you know, I've just been very lucky, to be honest. But life after a stent, um, I know whenever I got this stent and I was lying in the hospital, I was very emotional, uh, as you are. You know, I was only 53 at the time. My father died at 46 uh, of a heart attack. So... I was scared, to be honest, really scared, and uh, you know, I must put my hand up and actually admit that night lying in bed and sort of looking out onto the Belfast town and sort of having a bit of a cry, you know, thinking that, you know, I only had a year to, a couple of years to live, and uh, I blame Google, you know, I can only say, be careful what you Google, you know, Google will come up with some stats that 25% of people will die in the first year of getting a stent and so on. But, th you know, those are false stats. I mean, there's a lot of old people. I was the youngest in the ward. I was like the schoolboy in the ward, to be quite honest. And uh, a lot of people, you know, life after a stent, it should be, you know, follow all the instructions. You know, they give you instructions what to do and people don't do them. I know people that have had heart attacks and they still go out afterwards and smoke like a train. You know, I mean, I don't smoke myself, but if I had a heart attack and I had a stent, I certainly wouldn't smoke. The one thing I have been tempted to do, I'd given up for a year, was uh, drinking red wine. But I now sort of drink like three bottles of red wine a week, uh, which I'm now going to actually stop drinking. And I'm actually thinking of doing uh, <coughs> another channel on giving up drinking and just letting people follow my progress on what it's like, because I know I find it quite difficult because uh, I basically live on my own, not that that's any problem, because I do work a lot, and I do the channel, and I've got other hobbies and interests in life, I'm waiting on everything opening here, so I can get back swimming and doing, you know, other things. But life after this dent, I'd got out of the hospital, and I came home, and, you know, I felt, I felt great, you know, but they say you weren't allowed to go out to exercise for a couple of weeks, so... <laughs> it would give me practice for the, it give me practice for the lockdown, didn't it? You know, uh. But anyway, whenever I got out walking again, I, there was no strain or anything like that. There, the doctors had given me a heart watch, and it would beep if my heart rate went over a hundred and twenty, uh, and it used to beep quite a lot when I was going up the hill, but I never really felt any effort or you know. And after a few months, I actually felt better than I did before the heart attack. And uh, I started driving again after about four, four to five weeks. And uh, I went back to work after about, yeah, about, five, about four or five weeks, I went back to work. Uh, my boss was good enough and, you know, I, I worked sort of like from eight o'clock to five o'clock. And for the first two months, he let me uh, work from 10 o'clock to four, which was really good of him. You know, he didn't have to do that. And then plus when I was off, I got full pay. Um, when I was working from 10 to four, I got full pay. But after a stent, you know, the main things you have to do is get exercise. Exercise is very important. Half an hour's exercise a day. It doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't matter what the exercise is. As long as you're getting your backside off the seat, don't be hanging around the house feeling sorry for yourself. Go out, have a walk, you know, say hello to a stranger, you know, talk to a stranger, you know. And... Yeah, you know, you can get your own equipment for the house. I have an exercise bike for the house. I never use it. I bought a row machine, much better. Uh, be careful though, when you've just had a stent, do not go on the likes of a row machine or stuff like that. Uh, just do very light exercise, uh, probably for the first year. Um, cardio rehab, go there uh, after your stent. Not only will uh, it'll help, it'll uh, make sure that you get some friends up there 
there'll be people up there that have had a heart attack probably the same time as you. You'll be able to discuss your heart attack with them. They'll be able to discuss their stent and you know, you'll, you'll bump into people that have had a stent before and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's good to get advice from people that have had the same problem. That's why I started this channel, basically, so that I could give advice to people. You know, people that have had a heart attack or something like that there, or people, you know, they've had a stents put in, and they're worried about, you know, oh, am I going to live to see my children grow up and, you know, stuff like that. You know, I think my daughter, my daughter was 16 uh, whenever I had the heart attack. Or was she? No, sorry, she was 22. My daughter was 22 when I had the heart attack. And uh, she's now 35, and she's got a wee boy aged 9 next week. So, you know, if I, if I had a time, I would have missed my wee grandson, you know, who's really the life and joy of my life at the moment. But, you know, take your medication. That's the main thing. You know, whenever you get your medication, you'll probably get aspirin and Plavix. They're the very important ones, because if you get it, it'll be a, probably a drug eluding stent. You get this, I got my stent right about here somewhere. And uh, whenever you get that stent then, you need to keep that stent clear because in the first year, uh, a lot of the stents would sort of clog over again. Now, taking Plavax, Plavax, oh, it is a very strong drug. You know, you cut yourself a Plavax and you will, a river will come out, you know, it's a small razor cut. And uh, you take a Plavax and the aspirin, uh, because some people don't take their medication, which I don't understand. <coughs> but as I say, the first year of get, after getting a stent, that is the most important year. So it is. If you get the first year, if you're actually watching this and you've gone a year after getting your stent in, then you are, you're on the road to, you know, full recovery. Because all the wee hassles and problems come in the first year most people that have a stent that clogs over it happens within the first year so within the first year do everything right you know do your exercises take plenty of water water see water water is very very important for the heart and that will actually be my next video the importance of water for the heart because water you know, if you don't take enough water, you're going to get dehydration. I actually did a video on uh, dehydration. I'll maybe pop it on at the end of this video. You could take a wee look at it. But water is, is so, so important. And, you know, get plenty of water in you. Not too much, you know. Just keep, drink daily water throughout the day. And uh, just make sure you're topped up. Take your medication all the time. There are, I mean, you may not believe me, but to trust me, I've spoke to people that actually don't take their medication. They come out of hospital and they stop taking their medication. I mean, for one, I, I am one that actually has done similar. I stopped taking the statins because I thought that uh, doing my exercises, I do a lot of exercise and uh, I've had my uh, cholesterol taken. And my cholesterol has been fine by uh, being on the right diet and exercising and doing stuff uh, naturally because uh, I just didn't fancy taking the statins, but that's just me. Uh, you, you, That's up to you what you do. That's just what I did. I didn't take the statins. But the aspirin and everything they got there, the, you know, the bipocerol and the blood thinners, they are very, very important. Very important. But life after a stent for me... Um, I would still talk about it. Sometimes I'm work of a joke, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, I had a heart attack 13 years ago because they've got the windows open with uh, COVID. And I would sort of joke about it and say, well, close that window. I'm very cold. You know, I'm in blood thinners. I had a heart attack 13 years ago. And I'm not cold at all. I only do it to wind them up. But I have found, you know, life after a stent was difficult the first year, especially on the Plavax. And, you know... Getting my confidence back, it took me a long time to get my confidence back. I was scared all the time. Uh, then after the sort of first year, because I had been good. Oh God, I wasn't off Google. You know, what's my life expectancy after a heart attack? What's my life expectancy after a stent? How long does the stent last? Oh, I googled it all. But you can only go by your own experience, and by my own experience, my stent has lasted thirteen years. Uh, and after the first year, I say, you know, I started to feel more relaxed, more at ease, and more comfortable within myself. One of the best exercises I found for myself was swimming, because the swimming really built me up, and it built my heart muscle up. 
the thing about swimming was uh, I posted a Facebook group and a woman told me off about telling people to go swimming with a heart attack because it was a strenuous exercise and uh, I had a bit of an argument with her and uh, she was right swimming is a strenuous exercise if you go you know if you go at it too you know if you're sort of up and down the pool you know doing and really you know exerting yourself but I didn't I took it easy and I found that I felt great and it really built it built my muscles up and I lost about a stone and a half and unfortunately I put the weight on because I've been drinking but I'm going to stop drinking and I'm going to do more exercises but yeah, swimming's a good exercise, as is the rowing machine, but they're both exercises that you can go a wee bit overboard on. And, you know, you just take your own stride. Take it easy, you know, take everything in life easy, you know, after the heart attack and, you know, your first year after a stent. But you'll get there, so you will, if you do everything that you're told to do. You know, take your medicine, go to the rehab, and, you know, get water in you, keep hydrated, and... It's your mental sort of attitude as well, you know. I think it's a, you know, it's. I think a mental attitude has to do with a lot of things in life, not just after a heart attack. But if you're sitting there watching this and your husband's had a stent in, or you have had a stent in, and you're worried sick, you know, I've I've read so many questions, you know, uh, husband's had a stent in, I've had a stent in, and uh, you know, it's all doom and gloom. It's if uh, I've had the stent and that's me now, I'm sort of for the knacker's yard, you know. But you're not, you know. People know it is. Uh, I mean, I got the stent in 53. And I'm only a kick off 70 now. Uh, and I know people that have had stents in uh, back, oh, 10, 10, no, not 10 years ago, longer than that. Sort of by the 80s. And, uh, you know, they're still around, you know, so... That gives me quite a few more years because I had my heart attack in 2008. But life after a stand stayed on, you know, but you just don't want to fall back into the way of things, the old sort of... I did that, you know, I didn't drink for about two about two years, I think. And then I'd said to son, oh, you know, I fancy a drink. And he says, why don't you take the low sort of 6% or 8% red wine? So I did that and it uh, didn't taste the same. And uh, after a while, I was back on to the 13, 14% bottles of red wine. And then, uh, you know, I just had a bottle on a Saturday night. And that was it. I'll, ju I'll, I'll just have a drink, you know, one night a week. And then it says, uh, you know, I'm not working on Fridays. I'll take a wee bottle on Thursday. And then it was Thursday. And then I sort of started drinking on a Tuesday night again. And it was all the fact of, uh, you know, you get complacent. So you do... And you shouldn't do that. You know, you should keep thinking of your heart all the time. It's a bit like exercise, you know. I, I used to go every single night for my got that heart attack. And, uh, you know, it would have been the end of January, February. It was absolutely freezing, but I still went. Nowadays, there's just a wee uh, bad bit of blowy wind or something like that. And I'm sort of, ah, oh, no, I'll just sit and watch the news here. I couldn't be bothered to get out the night. No, 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 do not let complacency fall in after you get a stent. You know, life after a stent is, uh, it's your decision to decide, you know, that you want to get fit. You want to get that muscle built up. You do not want to fall by the wayside and get into old habits like drinking again, smoking again, not exercising. You know, you want to keep yourself clean and uh, fit and exercise every single day. The fact is, they say that if you exercise every single day for 30 minutes or more, you reduce your chances of a heart attack by 46%. Now, that's that's good going, you know. And they say if you sort of hydrate yourself, you take so many glasses of water a day, you know, you, you keep the water flowing through there so that the blood doesn't thicken. That reduces your chance of a heart attack for about 30%. You know, so it's basically doing all the good habits and sticking to them and you're going to reduce your chance, you know, and then your first year after a stent, you're going to be brilliant. The second year after a stent, you're still going to be, you know, you're going you know, be like me, 13 years after a stent. And I'm still, well, I'm more positive now than I was after the first year after a stent. First year after a stent, you know, 
I still had it in the back of my mind. I was quite scared and so on because, uh, you know, I'd made it. But, you know, what was going to happen? It was only a year ago. But the mistake I made, which I don't want any of you to make, is I became complacent. I didn't exercise as much. I started drinking alcohol and uh, I, I just became too cocky and confident in myself. Do not make that mistake. Uh, your first year after the stent, if you do everything you're told, you'll be fine, you know. And even for years, for years after that, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? Here I am now talking to you 13 years later. If you're worried, please don't be. Just stick to the... It's like everything in life. Stick to the rules and just get on with things. But exercise every single day. Do not be sitting on your butt. You know, get up at your backside. Get out for a walk. You know, go for a wee gentle swim. Uh, join a gym. Because uh, the doctor, he gives you a membership for the gym free for three months. Use it. Get yourself down there. Go to cardio. They'll teach you how to keep fit. Fitness is important in the first year of getting your stent. But I think I've sort of exhausted myself now. I feel like a school teacher telling kids what to do. But it's not that. I just want to put your mind at ease. I've been there myself and I know what it's like. Um, if you're a YouTube subscriber... Um, Please subscribe to my channel um, and hit the wee like button or the wee bell there so that you can keep up to date with my future posts. Um, I'd love you to leave some comments because I find the main thing in life in general and even sort of the first year after a stent. If uh, you could leave a few comments, if you have had a stent and uh, what were your experiences, did you have to get another stent, uh, did you not have to get another stent? Are you in hospital now watching this video and you you have to get a stent in a couple of days time? Um, are you a wife who you're worried about your husband who's just got a stent? Please leave me a comment and I'll try and give you a reply. Sort of, you know, talk to each other and uh, try and reassure each other. You know, that's, that's what life is about. But listen, thanks very much for watching. Have a good weekend. And as I say, the first year after getting a stent, it's all up to one person, and that's you, you know, and then life after that, just don't get complacent. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good weekend, and all take care. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye.